Hello everyone, my name is Simon, your host for today's webinar with Johan Cruyff Institute titled Be a Leader in Sport Management. And during today's webinar, you will learn how this master can help you boost your future, how you can combine this master with other study programs of the Johan Cruyff Institute, what type of uh, pro profile and persons uh, this program is looking for, as well as why to study at the Johan Cruyff Institute. And telling you more will be today's presenters. And it's a pleasure to introduce Victor Jordan, who is the e-learning director. Welcome, Victor. Welcome, all the guys who are listening to us. And thank you, Simon. Victor, thank you for joining. And it's a pleasure having you in the session. And next off, uh, sitting next to you, next to Victor, is Roman Pasquale, who is the commercial director. Welcome, Roman. Uh, hi, Simon. Welcome, all of you. Roman, thank you for joining to you as well. And last but not least, I would like to introduce Lucas Torda, who is the alumnus at the Johan Cruyff Institute. Welcome to you too, Lucas. Thanks, Simon. Hello, hello guys. Uh, thanks for joining us, and I'm really looking forward to to share some some things about the Johan Cruyff Institute with you. Thank you very much, and I'm sure that the audience that has joined today's webinar would of course prefer to hear more from you rather than from me. So just allow me to give you the control and you should take it from here as the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Simon. Okay, uh, guys, uh, welcome to this webinar. In the following hour or so, we will discover you the possibilities offered by our Master in Sport Management. Uh, we have, uh, you have already uh, uh, introduced Introduced our sales director Roman Pasquale and a former student and our alumnus Lucas Dorda. Uh, as a learning director, I will explain you who we are, what we offer. But please, really important for us, do not hesitate to make uh, your questions or doubts. You have you you have a Q&A Q &A, uh, chat and available in this room. So please feel free to ask everything you need to listen. So um, first of all. Uh, uh, what is the, 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 the Johan Cruyff Institute and what is the, the world of Johan Cruyff? Uh, the Cruyff Institute is one institution that has got uh, four other initiatives, four or five initiatives, uh, initiated by our founder, Mr. Johan Cruyff, after his retirement from playing and coaching. The first initiative is the world of Johan Cruyff, uh, who is managing this uh, the following uh, uh, initiatives that I'm going to mention. First one, the Cruyff Library, who consists in a collection of books over the life of John Cruyff. Uh, part of the, the, the profit to go to the Cruyff Foundation, perhaps the most well-known initiative. Uh, but we also have Cruyff Classics, where you can find fashionable, fashionable uh, shoes and products. After Cruyff Football, who improves the performance of players, coaches, through the, our founder, uh, Innovative Methodology, and Cripe.com, who is in charge of Mr. Cripe uh, Legacy. Let's, let's see something or, or some other uh, things. The, 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 the most important for us, uh, uh, right now you know, uh, uh, we are uh, trying to, to, um, to follow our founder uh, uh, legacy. And regarding the Cripe Institute, who started uh, in 1999, uh, we are trying to, to, to follow in his mission, who is to uh, educate athletes, sports, and business professionals to become leaders in sport management. This is uh, what we try to do every day, and of course, you will see today our methodology, uh, who is studying with us, our professionals, etc., etc. Um, a little bit of history, yeah, because this started in 1999. Uh, Right now, you know, we have uh, an international network, but uh, the first program, a kind of master in sport management, started in 1999 for, for 35 athletes in Amsterdam, uh, and after it, it, it came to Barcelona in 2002. Yeah, once established in Barcelona, uh, we became the headquarters and we start our expansion. Right now, uh, we, we have, uh, as you, you can see, on your screen, five institutes, three universities, and five colleges with more than 7,000 students. Uh, 
what what do we offer in in this uh, in these institutes or in these uh, uh, colleges or universities? In institutes, we are offering uh, postgraduate and executive education. Uh, this is not the same uh, as we offer in our universities, where we offer, of course, graduate education, and in our five colleges, where we offer vocational training. Uh, as you can see, all around the world, uh, the different face-to-face uh, -face, uh, institutes or colleges started in different uh, uh, in different um, years. Uh, but today we are going to speak about the, the online also uh, possibility to study with us that started in 2008. Let's continue. After uh, speaking a little bit of our growth, yeah, uh, let's, let's explain a little bit our portfolio. Yeah, as you will see, it's a big portfolio, yeah, at least regarding sports management. Uh, you will see we have three levels. Uh, starting in the upper uh, part of the of the of, of the um, slide that you can see, you will see our masters. Right now we have three masters running, and a new one that is coming, or we hope that will be coming soon. Uh, today we are going to focus in our master in sport management. But of course, if you have doubts or questions about the rest of the of the uh, masters, uh, you know, do not hesitate to ask us. Uh, next to our uh, sports management master, we offer a marketing master and a master in coaching. Let me let me uh, explain you where we are offering these programs, and, and perhaps it will help you to take a, a better decision. Our master in sports management can be studied, can be followed online or face to face. On site, can be studied in Amsterdam. And Barcelona, and of course, as I mentioned before, uh, you can study it as well online. Uh, this master in the sport management uh, can be studied. With, uh, we offer two, two different kind of diplomas. We offer a, we offer a professional master, who is offered in the three mod modalities we I explained it before, and one universitary one university diploma offer it because we joined it last year we signed an agreement with the autonomous university of barcelona so uh, in september we will launch the first edition so as i as you already know the professional master started in 1999 it's a consolidated program and in, in both possibilities face to face or online and next, you have the Master in Sports Marketing and Sponsorship. This master is properly uh, offered online, yeah, but in Barcelona you can study, as you will see after a postgraduate. Um, the Master in Football, we are, we are uh, right now working on, the, on, on, on its development. We, we cannot say when we are going to start. And finally, the master in coaching can be studied uh, blended or face to face in Amsterdam. All these programs are going to start in September of this year. Okay, second level, you will see we have some postgraduates. At least the postgraduates are part of the master. So our masters are composed by different postgraduates. So for instance, you can study you can start your career in, in, in sport management, studying the postgraduate diploma in sport management. You will see, or you see in the third level, that to, 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 to do this postgraduate, you have to study the following modules, strategic management, innovation and leadership, sports marketing, and financial management. And so you can stop here and get the first diploma, or you can continue. So the second step in your uh, career will be study the postgraduate diploma in sports marketing. Once you enroll the second postgraduate, you are going to study facilities management and event management. So right now you have two diplomas. What's next? Next will be a couple of, of uh, modules that doesn't appear in this infographic. But really simple to explain. 
once you get these two diplomas, you can continue uh, developing your uh, final master project and one, specializ one specialization module. So after studying the two postgraduate and these two added modules, you will get the master in sports management. Similar for the masters in sports marketing and sponsorship, you will start studying the postgraduate diploma in sports marketing. Take care. Uh, here you have to study sports marketing, financial of management, facilities management, and even management. So you will get, as I explained it before, the postgraduate diploma in, in sports marketing, and you can stop here, or we hope you, you will be able to, to continue, and, and you will start there the postgraduate diploma in sponsorship. That means study four new modules, the strategy in sponsorship, sponsorship from agencies and media, tactics, and, and the last one, fundraising. Once here, you will have the two diplomas, and again, the same that I explained it before regarding the Master in Sport Management, you can, you have to study or you have to develop a project, the final master project, so once you finish, uh, you will get uh, the Diploma of Master in Sport Marketing and Sponsorship. Uh, perhaps right now my, my colleague Roman can explain you even a little bit more regarding other stuff. Yeah, of course, Victor, because uh, our Masters have a duration of 13 months and each Master has a price of 7,500 euros. These uh, master programs can be paid in different installments or in a single payment. In this case, if you pay in a single payment, you'll have a discount of 3%. Then we have our postgraduate diplomas. Depending on this uh, postgraduate diploma, have different durations. For instance, our postgraduate diploma in sport management has a duration of six months and a price of 4,500 euros. The other one, the postgraduate diploma in sport marketing, has the same duration, six months, but the price is different because as a cost of 3,875 euros. The same price has our postgraduate diploma in sport in sponsorship. So. And the other one, the last one, our postgraduate diploma in football business has a duration between seven and eight months and a price of 4,705 euros. So, and my explanation, our courses. We have these specialized courses. Uh, we, could, we have a duration of 10 weeks, more or less, Victor, I think. Yeah, 10 weeks. Between 8 and, and 10, depending on the ICTS credits that they, they have. Yeah, and uh, this price, of course, depending on of the academic credits. These academic credits, each one has a cost of 125 euros. Then, if you want to take our strategic management course, has eight credits, and it will be that you have to pay 1,000 euros. The same thing in the innovation and leadership course. This price is, his price is 1,000 euros. All these courses can be paid only in a single payment. Yeah, after. Of course, I, I'm sure some of you have checked the, the, our web page, so perhaps you have seen that we have other kind of programs, uh, some basic programs called Fundamentals, uh, and of course, there in the, in the web page you will find further information regarding everything. But let's continue a little bit in this, you know, this big picture of what we are and what we do. Uh, let's continue a little bit with our online methodology, but, and I think you know, uh, I'm the learning uh, director, I can explain you a lot, but perhaps it's better to, to listen one of our students or former students' opinion. Lucas, what can you tell us about your experience studying online? Thanks, Victor. Well, uh, as you could see on the, on the picture now, you know, this is not some kind of just promotional material. It is how it works. Before uh, studying, uh, before I, was, uh, I started to study with the Institute, I was quite afraid, you know, how it will work, like uh, the online methodology, and I would be just like uh, doing all on my own. 
But uh, later, I just realized that the uh, students you are really into everything. So you on, the, on one side are getting pushed by your by your tutors. On the other side, uh, you have a lot of materials, a lot of a uh, lot of things, uh, a lot of inputs that you could use in study. And of course, the most important thing uh, you have your colleagues that, uh, to be honest, they try to motivate you even more because you have to do your best and. Uh, there are a lot of group activities that is really important, and uh, if you don't want to let down your colleagues, you have to really work hard. Yeah, he explained it a lot, and, and I think it's really important to understand that our methodology it's 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 follow or is following a, a, a learning by doing methodology. That means that perhaps uh, perhaps it's it's one of our differentiation points. We understand that the student has to has to learn doing and not only listening or getting all the information you know right now information is everywhere you can find incredible speeches and presentations all over the, 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 the web and from our point of view our extra value is uh, the, the, the way we, we try to help the student to um, elaborate uh, good uh, assignments that are real we, we try to, to put the student in different uh, perspectives, from a consultant, uh, as a member of a board of a club, uh, working in a company. So from these different roles, the student has to deliver both or individual or working with different colleagues, an assignment that can be applied to the, to the real world. So yeah, I think it's, it's, it's true to be honest. I mean, like uh, right now when I'm thinking about it, like. Uh, one of the most uh, benefits that I received as a student were the real-life case studies that uh, were quite... At the beginning, it was quite, it was quite difficult, but then you are getting used to it and it's, and it's great because once you finish the study and you start the real work and in the real life, in the real life situation, then you are really taking advantage of, of the studying material and the case studies that you are studying during the time as a student. Yeah, another thing I, I would like to mention is from the beginning until until the the, 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 the last day, you will have not only professors who are uh, guys really specialized in, in each module. You have also a tutor that is following you, helping you, as, as Lucas has mentioned, pushing pushing a little bit you. And it's, it's uh, not yeah, it's not perhaps the. <laughs> Your role, but it's really necessary. You, you have to, to think that the tutor is, is uh, checked.
way out of the box and of course uh, uh, providing in our of course on campus classes uh, interactive uh, interactive uh, learning i would say uh, of course uh, trying to visit businesses but i will add what, one really important thing we, we we try to to interact with our partners this is not only visiting uh, facilities what we try to do one we, we we will do we are doing right now is trying to work uh, hand by hand with this uh, with these partners so i mean when we visit the formula one uh, facility we are not seeing how the the, the facility is managed we understand how they are doing and we and all the class is trying to 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 figure out how can they uh, provide or how can they perform a better uh, experience in the future so we are delivering to the facilities to the companies uh, that we work with analysis uh, research or marketing plans just ideas because what we want is that that the relationship between uh, our institution and the companies it's getting closer year by year by year and we do not want to 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 be seen as just a group of students that visit one facility we want to be seen as a partner and of course uh, our students get the possibility to to, to perhaps uh, get a new job or, or get a new contact so for us networking is really important i don't know if you want to add uh, you know, information about our own campus um, methodology. Anything to say? No? No. Guys, you know, <laughs> are not helping a lot. No, Let, <laughs> let's continue a little bit. Why do you want, why we, we, we offer you our, our uh, programs? Why to study here? Well, we have a lot of reasons to study with us, but uh, we need to resume it. And we have six points. To summarize these reasons, the first one, athletes make up a large part of our students. Together with graduates and sport and business professionals, they make a unique mix of students. I think, Lucas, are you totally agree with this first point? Yeah, completely. I mean, like uh, it's great when you when you uh, learn from other students, from other professionals. Doesn't matter if they are already in the sport sector or not. But uh, especially when you could add some former athletes, uh, they could help you a lot because they have other kind of uh, experience and uh, this could be really, really important for you. I think it didn't reach yeah? the, the possibility Absolutely. to be in the same class Absolutely. with professional elite in bridge. Your, yeah. In my case, I, I've been lucky enough to have a sharing the class with the uh, former football players or uh, guys that were attending Olympic games. And you know, like uh, it's one thing to just thinking about the sport as a business, but other thing is thinking about the sport uh, like a former athlete or like, a, like an athlete. And uh, getting some input from these kind of guys, these guys that uh, were living it from the first person. So I think this is really, really important. Perfect. Uh, thanks, Lucas. And now, point two our programs include students with different backgrounds, levels, and nationalities, offering a broad perspective. I think uh, our, dis our discussions in our virtual campus yeah. you know, are very rich. Yeah, we have a cross cultural <laughs> lesson. Sometimes it looks like the United Nations. Yeah, yeah, some, yeah so sometimes a virtual classroom you have you can find guys from not only the five continents no, all, all over the world yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's true now, I was, in this case i was lucky enough because again uh i was sharing the classes with uh, guys all, all over the world like guys from australia guys from 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 asia uh even europe so it's like uh it's great it's great because all of us are having different point of view about uh and we have like uh we could see the sport from different angles so this is uh this is helping perfect now point three our professors are experts from the sport sector and they bring us experience from the walls of sport business and education yeah i think this mix is really important of course we have some professors that uh, come from the university, they are experts in research, but we always have that for uh, sport professionals uh, who are in the pitch, on the pitch right now, they are uh, running uh, sports marketing departments, they are members of the board of some federations, companies, etc. I think 
this mix is perhaps one of the most important points in yeah. our institution. Absolutely. Totally agree. Now, point four, development of real plans and strategies for the benefit of business and society. We have a lot of students working with some sport organizations helping to this, these organizations to achieve their goals. Yeah, and this is why, at least, the, the Johan Cruyff Institute, even, uh, and, and of course, the Cruyff Foundation, were funded. So, we try to, to help at least society. It's, I think for us, it's, uh, you know, it's in our DNA. Point five, flexibility to adapt to the, the study pace to each individual's workload, support schedule, and availability. Yeah, I think here we are really good. It's, I, I think it's, it's, it's perhaps not really good to see you, but yeah, you know, we have people who is skiing, so they are professional skiers. That means they, from from uh, December to to uh, April, they cannot uh, follow a master in, in 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 at the same at the same speed than a guy who is, you know. As Lucas, for instance, who has a a daily, yeah, a daily boring daily. <laughs> I, I'm sure it's not boring, but you know, he's working six eight six eight hours yeah. daily, so it's not the same. So this is real. We try to re to, to analyze every single student schedule and offer him her the best uh, the best the best uh, pace to permit him or her to study and of course of course combine studies with sport or with uh, yeah, work life yeah. yeah yeah for instance look at his yeah. like, example it's the most important that this was the one of the reasons why i choose why i've chosen the, the graduate institute because i was looking for something that uh, recognized that uh, could offer me a good content and especially i could uh, combine my, my daily work and uh, my studies Perfect. And at the end, point six, every student, Lucas, will become a life member of the CRIF family, our international alumni network. Yeah, and, and I like very much this expression, CRIF family, because here we know each other. So that means uh, the tutors and the professors, has, as I mentioned, uh, uh, weekly or, or every 14 days, uh, 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 20 minutes to speak with every single student and students are working in different groups. We, we, we try to organize international meetings and we are not a big university and I think this is one of our values. Yeah, uh, uh, you, can, you can have a coffee in, in an event with an athlete or with a mate that you have found in a module and he is from the other part of the world. Yeah, and of course, you have the, the, the same uh, values and you you belong to the same institution. Okay, let's continue. Okay, well, when do you when can you start studying with us? Important important question. It's important question, important thing to you, because we have different kickoffs during all the year, the academic year. Our masters starts in September or in February. Here you have the information about our Master in Sport Management on campus in Amsterdam, who will start next September 10th, and the other Masters who will start in September 19th. Our postgraduate diplomas, all of them except our postgraduate diploma in football business, will start next September 19th, and this one, our postgraduate diploma in football business will start October 10th. So, as, as, as Roman mentioned, we have a second intake, yeah. normally half February, but okay, we, don't, we, we have not fixed properly the, yeah. the exact date, so if you are interested in not starting in, in September, October, and you want to study in next or the following year, yeah. 2017, we will send you the, the, the information. Yeah, of course, and I think a uh, postgraduate diploma in football business uh, also will start next March. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's continue. Lucas, what about studying in, in Amsterdam? Well, I think it could be great. Uh, in my mm -hmm. case, uh, I've chosen Barcelona before, 
But absolutely, like uh, why not the possibility to study in Amsterdam really sounds amazing. Yeah, it sounds amazing. You have also a trip to Barcelona as well. Mm -hmm. So programs are, are as we mentioned, the same or more or less the same. Yeah. And of course, uh, I think it's a good option. Yeah, uh, really nice city. Yeah, and and, and if you're an IX fan, you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you will find a mix of American and, and Dutch professors, uh, really experienced it. Uh, and of course, I think it's a good option. Absolutely. But of course, you have the possibility to come to Barcelona. Remember here, I, 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 I introduced it before, that we offer, okay, in Amsterdam, you, you, you will find two masters as well, the, the master in sports management and the master in coaching. Uh, face-to-face -face and blended and in Barcelona you will always you will also find uh, two masters the the one with the university so the universitary master in the mornings uh, Tuesday uh, Thursday and Fridays and the professional one uh, Friday afternoon uh, the, the universitary in the mornings um, you know, the, you, the, our partner, the University of Barcelona, is one of the best universities in the world, number one in Spain. Uh, okay, I think it's a good. I, I assume, I think that if I'm uh, still trying to choose some kind of master right now, this would be one big plus for me if, as, a, as a student that wants to study. So I agree with you. Here it's important to take the decision, and of course, every one of you uh, have to think if you prefer a diploma uh, delivered by a university and of course uh, the Craig Institute or to, to choose the professional master. I think it's really important to take this decision, not only because as uh, Roman mentioned, there, there is a small difference in price as well. For instance, let me tell you that the, the, the university master also have a, a a module of economics in sport perhaps has some orientation not only in the sport industry as well in the research world so i think it's a it's a it's a good choice yeah it's a good choice more things uh roman perhaps will explain you uh, how can you combine our our study our modules yeah i have to say that if you want to study our master in sport management it's not mandatory that you have all the master in one year. Yeah. You can study with us model by model. This means that you can start with one of our courses, one of our models, for instance, our strategic management course, and after that, you can, ju you can jump to our postgraduate diploma in sport management. Once you have achieved this diploma, you can jump again and finish all other models to achieve the master's diploma. Yeah, per perhaps here Lucas can explain us his, yeah. Yeah, his story. I think yeah, it's true. actually it's true, you know, because my idea first was study just the sports management, and that was that was the basic that I wanted to achieve and I wanted to finish. Later, I just realized that uh, well, as I'm always trying to improve, not only myself but uh, all of the people around me. So it's like uh, the thing was why not study something more. Why not learn something more, and why not look for some some improvement? And that was the reason why, of course, I chose the again the private institute because after my first experience, I was really I was really happy. So and I continued with the sports management, uh, with sports marketing and sponsorship, and uh, I I'm really happy with that. It was it was a great decision. So it's one option that uh, all of you could, uh, could use in the future. Like uh, start with something, then in the later just you will, you will realize uh, why not continue. Okay, let's continue. And we are we are uh, near to the, the, the okay. To, we are going we are going to finish our speech and, and, and let's let's share uh, your uh, uh, or let's try to to answer your questions and of course to exchange experiences with you. Yeah, more or less. Again, this is the general picture. Uh, uh, thank you for for the time you have spent with us. And it's time perhaps to go to to questions and to to try to. To handle what what your doubts or I mean Simon, what do you think? It's time to go to quotes and to questions and answers. 
by all means, it is time to go into the Q&A if you are finished with your presentation. Uh, just allow me to go out of full screen uh, so that our audience can see the Q&A better. should be on the right side. There should be a Q&A panel. You can expand it by pressing the little arrowhead next to it. And we actually do have quite a few uh, uh, questions already submitted. And uh, maybe we can start with Isaac's questions. He would like to know if uh, the master program uh, could be considered for his uh, next step, which, which would be doing a PhD, actually. Yeah, if you want to continue studying a PhD, you have to choose the university master. Yeah, with the professional one, it's not possible yeah, to reach a PhD, but with the university one, absolutely yes. And as Roman explained, it, it will start in September, first time. Yeah, in, in, in Spain, there is only one other. Uh, and of course, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, will be uh, delivered with the, with the Autonomous University in Barcelona, number one in Spain. So a perfect place to do research. Thank you very much. Uh, and then we have a question from Cristina. She would like to know which are the modalities of the Master in Sport Management? Yeah, um, okay, we, we have uh, um, three modalities uh, again. You can study face-to-face uh, -face on, on campus in Barcelona and Amsterdam. Uh, you can study it online. Here it doesn't matter where you are living. Uh, of course, uh, you have the possibility to study again on campus, but a blended modality here in Barcelona, coming uh, on Friday afternoon. <laughs> And uh, of course, the rest of the uh, part of the module will be delivered online. But blended means, as you know, studying some part of the content here in the class, uh, doing activities, assignments, uh, visits, uh, visiting some some companies, and, uh, and and doing part of the studies. Uh, okay, I, I I was thinking in your home. But not everywhere, because you just need a device and everything is on the virtual campus. So you can study on the, on the metro, on the airplane, wherever. Yeah, absolutely everywhere. <laughs> so thank you very much. Uh, another good question is, uh, which are the profiles of the students? Yeah, for instance, Lucas, a guy who was coming from not the sports industry and right now is in the sport industry working. We have, I, I would say, few uh, degree and uh, a degree and wants to start his professional career in the in, in the sport world. And most of our students are, I would say, uh, okay, or former athletes or athletes and people who is working in the industry. We have some junior guys who are. Starting in the in the industry in the sports industry and you know they want to to have a, a more solid background knowledge and also I would say some some guys who are really experienced and they want to come again to the to the classroom. I would I was in the ask that uh, the most important thing in my opinion is that uh, if you share the passion for sport and sport is something that you really love and you want and you put the uh, Visualize yourself uh, working in this working in this sector. It's really important for you that uh, you could do something uh, this kind of offer. So the profile doesn't matter exactly because as Victor said, uh, I was not a professional professional athlete. I was a semi-professional, but yeah. But uh, the thing is that uh, if you are sharing your passion for this, for this, for sport, uh, then definitely the Grand Institute uh, masters are. Thank you very much, Lucas, to you as well. And actually, before uh, addressing the next question from the Q&A, I am about to open up a poll, as we would also like to have some feedback from you, the attendees. Um, and as it's a short poll, it shouldn't take you more than up to a minute to fill it out. Therefore, I would like to thank you in advance for taking your time and giving us uh, the much appreciated feedback. And I will leave the poll, run, the poll running throughout the Q&A, meaning you can either submit the poll or still submit your questions through the Q&A panel. 
And now returning to the Q&A, I noticed the two students wanting to know more about the payment. How can the payment be made and if it's possible to pay in installments? Yes, you can pay our programs in different installments without interest or you can pay in a single payment. Also, you, we have two methods of payment. You can pay by credit card or you can pay by bank transfer. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, and then we have a specific question from uh, Regisle, I do believe is the name, saying that as an ongoing student in online postgraduate diploma in football business, could he join the master in sports management in September even if he uh, does not finish his postgraduate studies until then? Here it will depend on which master wants, I think it's he uh, wants to enroll. Yeah, for instance, for the university master, the, 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 there are some, you know, some legal uh, uh, um, papers that you, you have to send us, uh, at least a university degree. Yeah, it has to be, and I don't know uh, if there are more, yeah. If, yeah, here it depends for the university degree. It depends uh, which uh, which studies as you have you followed before. Yeah. Yeah. For instance, it's not the same if you have studied economics or, or management than if you have studied I don't know physics. So uh, we, we we try to 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 analyze the information that the that the former student I so that the students sent us. We also uh, have uh, an admission. Uh, interview with them, trying to figure out who are they, uh, experience. This for the for the university master. For the rest of the of the of the masters, there are a couple of things also really important. The first one, if you are in the sports, uh, if you are a professional, one you have to show us that you have been in the industry three years, uh, three years at least, or the same as in the in the university one. You have to show us the degree you have followed before. Uh, so trying to 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 answer the, the the question, it will depend not if he or she has finished the the postgraduate degree. This is perhaps not the most important point. The, the here the important is if you have or not a degree or if you have or not the experience in the in the industry. So, from my point of view, perhaps it's not the most recommended to, to start a postgraduate and at the same time a master. Of course, if you are only, a, only studying, if you are a full-time student, okay, it's going to be a, a challenge, but sometimes it's better to, to be focused and try to balance uh, work and, and studies. Yeah, this is my advice. Thank you very much, Victor. And then Georg uh, would like to be reminded on how many months does the course in Master in Sports Management take? A good question. Yeah, our Master in Sports Management online uh, has a duration of 13 months, but our Master in Sports Management on campus in Amsterdam has a duration of 10 months. The same in Barcelona, 10 the same months as well. Barcelona. Mm -hmm. And Sandeep would like to know if the postgraduate diplomas are only online. No, <laughs> not properly. No, in, in Amsterdam you can only join a master uh, online. Of course, you can study everything. And in Barcelona you can study the postgraduate in sport management and the postgraduate in sport marketing on Fridays afternoon. Yeah. As a part as a part of the professional master. So uh, we offer a master blended in the afternoons on Friday, and that means the same as in the online uh, studies. Oh, come on. It's, yeah, but I have to say that this postgraduate diploma now are only available in Spanish. Yeah, really important. Yeah, remember, in Amsterdam, you are going to study in English. Yeah, so the program is uh, delivered in English, and of course, uh, in Barcelona, in Spanish, on uh, in distance learning, you have both options: English and Spanish as well. Thank you very much. And now to uh, switch the topic uh, would be a question: 
uh, if you could explain in detail the career services and internships. Okay, here a big difference. If you are following the university master, uh, internships are mandatory. Yeah, of course, perhaps the, 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 the profile of the students it requires, but it's mandatory because in our study plan, yeah, it's like so. Uh, internships are, are part of, of, of it's one of the 10 model, modules that, that the students have to study, or perhaps in this case not study, they, they, they are going to get uh, experience in one company. Uh, this internship, it can be, so, sometimes the student can search the company if they, are, if, they, if they have got a special interest in working in a company or we can help them to find it, but 99% uh, of times it's offered by the institute. Right now with the collaboration with the University of Barcelona, we have a, a big number of companies, football clubs and, and federations that are involved in, in our group. So um, I think it's a, it's a great possibility as well as the career services. The career services are open to all of our alumnus and it's not only a career services. From my point of view, it's really important to, to, to point that the students do not only can find a job back and see offered by these career services. It's really important to tell that or, or to mention that uh, we offer as well the possibility to help the student to find a job and to find, you know, like a, a, a a professional career to, to design the professional career and this is provided one by one or offering uh, this will start on September offering uh, some programs yeah some programs to work skills etc Victor thank you very much this should actually answers Madina's question about the career possibilities after graduating and uh, a related question came from uh, Mate. Uh, he or she would like to know if you have any specific connections to any sports clubs. To any, any sports clubs? Yeah, any specific interne internship opportunities. Yeah, as, 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 okay, I, as I mentioned before, we have two options. The option perhaps uh, most common where we offer to the students the possibility to do internships or sometimes, sometimes as well, a job vacancies with uh, clubs, with football clubs or other sports clubs. And if one student perhaps it's, it's really interested, it's keen on working in a specific club, of course, we do not have uh, agreement with all the clubs in the world. It would be impossible to be sincere, but we do our best to find the right contact, to, 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 to write a letter of recommendation to our students, to find the, the right uh, person in the club, and we try to help as much as we can the student to, to do an internship in, in wherever. Bayern München, I remember one student, uh, or, or, or other people, I, I don't know. I, I remember some students that were helped by the, the, the institute to find the uh, the club they decide. Sometimes it's not possible, guys. It's <laughs> not easy. It's not easy. It's not yeah. easy. Thank you, Victor. Uh, we have a specific question for Lucas, actually. Uh, how did your studies at the Kroef Institute uh, help you with your career? Yeah, I think that absolutely because, as I mentioned before, when I I'm not I'm not Spanish. When I came to Spain, I wasn't working in the sports sector. And I was looking for it. So, uh, as Victor said right now, uh, the first step was to start studying the, the the master in sports management. Later, I was lucky enough that I landed an internship in, in Adidas Group. And especially, like Victor said before, the uh, huge help that came was especially the letter of recommendation uh, written by the institute that helped me a lot. And uh, after this internship, then it started. Right now, I'm. I've been working in the sports sector more than for more than three years, and uh, I think that I kind of established myself here. So absolutely, I think that uh, as I have said, the first step is uh, start to do some, start to study, start to learn, 
and uh, improve yourself within the sector and then looking for uh, teacher possibilities. Yeah, for instance, an example came to my mind right now, and for instance, uh, uh, one uh, uh, on-campus student uh, have the, the, the desire to collaborate with the uh, EuroCAP, but as you know, it's running, it will be run next month, in, not this month, yeah. sorry, in fact, yeah. 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 so I was thinking, yeah. and, and of course, we, we, we try to help him, right now he will work in the EuroCAP, and perhaps we, we will have a new relationship with a new partner for the following, you know, events, and, and this is how it works. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's, it's difficult to have an agreement with all the clubs or all the, 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 the companies all over the world, but I think it, it's not difficult for us to try to, to find the right, uh, the right guy inside every company and offer a student what they desire. So sometimes it's not possible. Thank you once again. But the next question is also interesting. Uh, can uh, are there any elite athletes in the classes? Yes, of course, <laughs> a lot, lot, of yeah, <laughs> lot of them. You know, you can follow, for instance, our social media channels as, as Twitter. You will see in last month, Memo Choa, the the Mexican goalkeeper, finished the football management degree with us. Right now, for instance, there are a lot. I, I don't know that. There are a lot of, uh, okay, in my group I, I wasn't that lucky, but uh, as you could see, like, uh, if you will see, if you will follow the, the institute and the social network, you will see a lot of uh, interviews with the guys that will be attending the Olympic Games in one month and something in August. Here, you will see a lot of guys that are uh, professional football players like Alfred Fibogason, for example. Yeah. So, yes. Tell <laughs> so a lot of goalkeepers. Yeah. From yeah. Your wife. Yeah. <laughs> that is uh, the follow-up question. If Edwin van der Sar is one of your alumnus. Yes. Yes. One of our alumnus. He studied three years ago in Amsterdam. Yeah. And right now he's the marketing director. Right? Director in, in Ajax. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also a related question. If it's true that one of your professors uh, works at the football club Barcelona. <laughs> yeah. I think the guy who makes the question is perhaps. Uh, Googling, <laughs> searching in Google right now. Yeah, Sintu Ahram uh, is working in the in well, is leading the, the the sponsorship area in Football Club Barcelona. It's true. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, and actually, one more good question uh, is: uh, What is the level of English uh, proficiency required? I think it's B, B2, I think it's, it's B2. Yeah, I think it's B2. If you want to follow the, the program, in, in all the universities in Europe, the level, uh, the level required is B2, the minimum level. Thank you, Victor. And then a question from Borja. Is it mandatory to attend virtual classes? Uh, because uh, the time difference and the work schedule from, uh, and his work schedule might create a conflict. And would that be somehow penalized? No, Borja, uh, um, it's not mandatory to attend virtual cl class classes. Uh, the idea in the, in, the, uh, in the online methodology is every student can study at, at, at his own pace. That means uh, you have uh, one challenge to do every 15 days, one or two uh, challenges. As, as I explained it, uh, some assignments uh, you have to deliver it and, and of course do it alone and others with, with, group, with a group of people. Uh, the professor tries to help you or the group uh, offering different schedules to do the webinars, if the, 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 the conversation is in group or individually. So sometimes uh, it's true that there is a webinar at four o'clock in the afternoon, but when we do webinars in group, we try to record and upload to the, to the virtual classroom all the conversation. So if one student is working, he just needs to connect to the virtual campus and he can uh, just uh, play and see what has happened. But uh, as I mentioned, Mostly of the time, the idea is you have instructions that can be provided by the professor in, in, a, in a board, 
and you have to follow these this instructions and that means you have to read, you have to search, you have to watch videos. Uh, so after this first period you have to do uh, meetings with your group or with the professor and try to uh, build your personal assignment and of course the professor is going to not only help you, also give you constantly feedback, yeah, quality feedback. Actually, Borja has a second question uh, asking, can you take longer than 13 months to finish the online degree? Yes, of course. This is one of, I think, one of the things that make us different. Uh, sometimes what we try is to, to okay, our mission is help, help people to, 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 um, to educate themselves. So that means that if one student is, uh, is I don't know, not, not only uh, um, being a, a, an athlete, imagine you, you, you know, you get married and you need one month of vacation. It happens. Yes. So, so here, you, of course, you are not going to, to, to ask and uh, you, you don't need to, to, to stop the program. And, and, but the professor is going to tell you, okay, enjoy your holidays, but before before leaving, you have to submit this activity, and of course, once you finish, uh, you will have one or two more weeks to submit the pending ones. And okay, in other cases, in other cases, on other occasions, uh, you, you know, you you, you can uh, uh, study more than eight weeks because perhaps you are uh, following a competition or you have a difficult, a crazy agenda. I think that, uh, as we have mentioned before, you know, the world is flexibility. Yeah. So it's completely, of course, up to you, but uh, you, could, you could manage it. I mean, uh, if you need to go on a business trip, if you need to go on some kind of, if you're a professional athlete, you have uh, some kind of tournament, like right now, uh, European football cap, so whatever. You could, uh, you could find a way and you could always speak with, uh, with the professor and uh, there are always, always the ways uh, how to do it, so absolutely. Our aim is trying to help you to combine both professional life, personal life, and studies. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. And now we have a few specific questions uh, from a couple of attendees. Uh, one is from the marketing department, and the other one is from the IT sector. And the question is, um, does th would this program suit them as well, or will it be just for athletes? Yeah, of course. This program suits you better because we have different profiles in our programs. One of them, one of these profiles is your profile. We have experts in experts, professionals who are working in a marketing department of any sports organization who wants to study more and this program can help us to achieve this education. Thank you. And actually another specific question from Mike, saying that he has worked in sports for the past 10 years, but does not have a, have an university degree. Could he register for the course or should he do an intermediate course? Okay, here I think it depends on, on different situations. I think it would be, it would be great to, 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 to enroll a master, but here I, from, from my point of view, is important too if you have uh, uh, time of course motivation I think it's really important to invest you know you have to, to study so that means it's, it's important to have the time and, and the motivation to 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 be back again to the to the to the to, to the classroom to the class yeah it's like yeah you know you, you it's to, to following a, 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 a full master it's, it's uh, invest a lot of time of your life. It's a good thing, but it's not easy. So we always say it's, you have to find the right time, yeah, the right time, and, and this means motivation too. It's, I think it's not a good idea. I would say motivation yeah. and sacrifice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. You have to sacrifice yeah. a lot. I mean, yeah. like uh, your family, your personal life, your friends, your, your habits. Because yeah. Your weekends? Your weekends. Oh. Yeah. Usually it's your weekends because if you're working and uh, or doing some, some kind of sport, you're a professional athlete, usually the weekends uh, you're trying to catch up with everything. <laughs> yeah, but the professors too. 
Yeah, we have had some some uh, video conferences with guys in uh, Japan or Ecuador at mm, 2 a.m. Yeah. yeah, it's true and it happens. So uh, we are at perhaps a different institution. We are trying to help people to manage better the sports world. This is our mission. So, and I think that uh, for someone who has like uh, 10 years of experience within the sector, uh, I think that even each kind of master could, uh, could help you to learn something new. I mean, like uh, the professional experience is one thing, yeah. but to add something, uh, some, something more, like uh, the proper education and uh, some, kind of, uh, some kind of learning and knowledge uh, is always to help in my opinion. Yeah, and, and some inputs as mm -hmm. well from professors who come yeah. from the university, from professional uh, guys who are in the industry, mm -hmm. from athletes who see things from a different point of view, really different point of view. So, yeah, absolutely. I think it's a, it could be a great idea. Thank you very much. Uh, I noticed that a couple of attendees uh, must have joined a bit later as they are asking about the payment. If you wouldn't uh, mind uh, maybe s shortly answering uh, Michelle and a few more, would like to know more about the payments. How much is it and can it be done in installments? If so, how many installments uh, is it possible to pay in? Yeah, if you want to study our master in sport management online, it has a cost of uh, 7,500 euros and you can pay uh, this amount in a single payment, then will you receive a 3% discount, or you can pay uh, by installments. In this case, we have two installments, a first one of 4,500 euros, and other one of 3,000 euros. Thank you very much. Uh, another specific question from uh, Ali Musawi, saying that he's not an athlete, and has taken fundamental course uh, before and would like to do the postgraduate degree. Uh, does he have any chance of studying at your campus? Uh, can you repeat? We have had some. Uh, yes. He is a, a former fundamental student. Actually, yeah, he has taken a fundamentals course, is what yes. he said, and would like to do the postgraduate degree. Uh, does he have any chances of studying at your campus? Oh, okay. okay. If he speaks Spanish? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. the, the question is actually in English. Yeah. That is correct. Yeah, the postgraduate is only, uh, is only delivered in, in Barcelona and in Spanish. Yeah, okay. we are not delivering in English yet. Perhaps next year will be a, a, a real thing. Not now. Now. Okay, and regarding the English level, uh, Michelle actually would like to know uh, that saying that he has done his bachelor's degree in English, would he still need to provide you with uh, some sort of certificate or would that be okay to proceed? Yeah, I think it depends. If you don't have a proper uh, diploma, it depends on the, on the um, I, I don't know where Michelle is from or where. where uh, from, I think France? he's saying he's a French speaker, yeah? Yeah, so I think it's no problem. He has, he has finished. A uh, degree in a, in a, in France. I think that the, I, I think it's B2 is the last uh, is the, is the level that one university student uh, have once he finishes the mm -hmm. their degree. So it's possible to to study. And staying on topic of the language proficiency, Sandeep would like to know what is the proficiency required for the Spanish language uh, for the on-campus studies? Same. Exactly the same. There is no difference. Right now, in the European countries, with Bologna, there is the same. There is a, a, a kind of level it's required. In English, it's a bit too, in Spanish, it's the same. Thank you very much, Victor. Uh, we have time to address a couple of more questions, otherwise uh, we will have to wrap up the session shortly. And there is a good question as well. Is it true that you have reached a great position at the Sports Business International Rankings? Yeah, I think rankings we have had really good positions. Last uh, year we were the, we reached the number two in online programs and the 14th uh, in the uh, campus programs, uh, I think, 
Yeah, no, of course. <laughs> of course, I think you guys are more university in, in, in these rankings. Uh, of course, I mean, I, I mean in the sports management world, well, we are competing for, uh, with huge universities, American ones, they are the founders of sports management. Yes, for example, Ohio State and others, and Florida. And yeah, we are there fighting and trying to offer the best experience for us, which is the most important, even if we are uh, in, you know, we, we are in the year for instance, yes, they will receive the, the, the new that we are now working in general, in, in general, uh, uh, I think over 500 years. I think the institutions who are offering uh management masters were in number twenty all over the world. This is I think it's good. It's really good. Cheers to Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just you know, we're, we're, yeah. well, we hard ranking, so I do agree. Yeah. Uh moving on to the next question, also beneficial to a broader broader audience is what would you recommend to study online or on campus? Wow. <laughs> Million dollar question. I, I, I think again, yeah, it depends for me, this is my, my, my personal opinion, it depends on the age, your personal situation, whether if you are studying or, or, or sorry, if you are working and you've got family. Uh, if I were 20, in my early 20s, I, I have no no doubt that I would prefer to, to come to Barcelona and to spend a year here or, or of course in Amsterdam, in the beautiful Amsterdam, spending a year in one of my, yeah, I think it would be one of my best years in my whole life. But if you are not in your early 20s and you are working, you know, you want to study and have a really good experience, the online and the you know the, the distance learning learn is a good choice. Yeah. According to my own experience, I mean like uh, uh, usually unfortunately it depends on your economic situation. I mean uh, in my case I was last study on campus but uh, it was impossible for me to just study one year and uh, without without uh, working. No. I remember Lucas when we started to study with us, we didn't live in Barcelona and neither in Amsterdam. No, not so. Yeah, it was quite difficult, but. Oh. And now he's in his 30s, so yeah. it's better to study online, you know. Well, in his 30s, two weeks ago, but. But I think that the We do have a question uh, related to, to this topic. Lucas, it's for you. Maybe we can end this Q&A on, on, on this note. So the question, Lucas, is how would you describe your experience at the Johan Cruyff Institute? Well, I, would, I would recommend people, to be honest. The first point would be the uh, second one would be the networking, and the uh, third point would be, like, uh, I mean, uh, Great quality content of, of, of learning materials, of the professors, and, uh, and uh, of, the, uh, of the given knowledge. If I will go more in, in depth, I mean, uh, the most important part for me was to uh, be able to support. Because uh, as, I was, as I was mentioning before, at the beginning I was afraid, you know, because I just uh, received all the PDFs, and uh, unfortunately for me, it was I received uh, great support. I received uh, uh, great help from uh, from the from the professors. And uh, you know, the networking was something that uh, didn't surprise me because uh, during the uh, three years, that, uh, okay, so four years last in, in in contact with the Christ Institute, I was able to meet a lot of people. I was able to even like use this on this on like, in my for the life and uh, the professional life. Uh, things and deals with uh, my, my current company. So, I mean, it's a great experience, and I'm saying this only because I'm just quite smart than I'm doing right now. I'm saying it's true. It, it helped me a lot to find myself as a professional sports and help me a lot to grow as a person.
questions and to even find some, some real friends. Okay, thank you very much for sharing your experience as well. But unfortunately, this is all the time we had for today. So it's time to wrap up the session. And firstly, I would like to thank the audience for joining. And I'm sure that you did get the necessary information for studying at Johann Cruyff Institute. And all of us are hoping that some of you are already considering in applying. And best of luck with those endeavors. And of course, very special thank you to Victor, Roman, and Lucas. Thank you very much for taking your time and providing the students with the much needed information. And at this point, I would like to ask you if you maybe have any closing comments for today's audience. Yeah, I have one comment because uh, one of the students asked us about uh, is the same price online and on campus. No, it's not the same price. Online, I remember the price is 7,500 euros, and on campus, in Amsterdam, for instance, is 10,800 euros. A difference. And from the front, guys, uh, 15th of September, the 19th of September, perhaps in Barcelona or in Carolina or in Amsterdam. Remember, just, I'm, I'm just inviting you the, first, the 4th of July, the 4th of July, with one of the biggest uh, companies, professional companies in the world, Coursera. We are launching a MOOC based open online course. Uh, I think very interesting topic, sponsorship activation. Uh, with you know some famous guys as Pep Guardiola will be with us in this program for free. So if you want to to join us, remember 4th of July we in the kickoff of this free course in Coursera in University for you can We'll see the information in our web page, social media channels. It's been a pleasure. Whatever you need, just write us. It's uh, a pleasure to, to, to try to, to work out if you have any doubts. Well, um, yeah. Go ahead, Lucas. As I mentioned before, now it's like, uh, your last question already summed up. I would never say the last comment. So it's like, in my opinion, that, uh, all people that are with a lot of work and want to, they are considering themselves working in sport. I think it's a great idea to start with the graduate student and it will help you a lot with your future career. So thanks a lot for having me here and thanks a lot for your presentation, uh, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you very much once again to all the participants. This is Simon signing off by saying I wish you a good morning, perhaps a good afternoon or a good evening from wherever you may be. Thank you for joining and goodbye.